today we're going to talk about YouTubers. Now, as you know, I'm a YouTuber myself. I've got three channels combined with over 600,000 followers. And if there's one thing that I've noticed quite a lot during my years of doing YouTube is the amount of YouTubers that do live stream videos and the amount of people that actually donate to these streamers because they feel bad for them or they like the content and they have the feeling that they must donate in order to receive their attention for five seconds. I've got no, by any means, any issues with YouTuber streaming f to get money. I think it's pretty fucking lazy, personally, because you don't have to edit nothing. It's quite easy. Look, I mean, it's easy money making if you're big. But what I have noticed, the why do people donate to these YouTubers slash streamers that have got so f much money? What's the point of it? Why the fuck are you donating your goddamn money to people that have already got it so good? Like, please do not be fooled what they say. Oh, YouTube is not paying me well. Uh, no, it's so bad. Oh, no. F oh, I'm getting demonetized. I will be not making no money. A good YouTuber earns good money. I'm not rich by no means at all. I am not no multi-millionaire. Fuck, I am no nowhere near that bracket. I don't even... God, they make, I don't make a quarter million a year. I kind of wish I did. I don't. It's good. It's it's what it is. I've got to accept that. But what I've never understand, and I just still can't understand to this day, why do you, you people feel the urge that they've got to and must donate to these streamers? Because that's the only way that they will see them. Unfortunately, the fucked up reality is you actually aren't existing in their eyes, which means that you are a viewer and they gladly appreciate your support by clicking on each every single video of you. That is enough support already actually for my view actually to be quite fair. Cause I've always had quite a big problem and just a very big issue with people wanting to donate me money, even if it was kindly offered free. I still say unfortunately I've got to decline your offer. I highly appreciate it, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not that money hungry. And I find it kinda wrong accepting money from people even if it's f volunteer there are a couple of reasons for that and when i first made this whole youtube thing um i had no fuck i had no money you could say i was like your average 14 year old kid had no money let's be quite honest there's no denying that we've all been there it's a struggle fuck yay it's a struggle to life man you've got to build up an, an empire eventually to get to gain wealthy you've got to gain wealth at, at some point and how you do it is how you do it yourself I did it the legal way, knew some guys who did it the illegal way, but that's not relevant. Just take a sip of this hot cocoa. This cocoa is amazing, by the way, but... I've always had quite a big issue with accepting money from people. Even before the YouTube. Now, don't get me wrong, I I like money, but it's not like it's the world to me. I could definitely say, fuck the money, I don't care about it. But, unfortunately, this is my my job, so... I've got to make earnings somehow. By that, I place ads in my videos. I don't sell merchandise because I can't be bothered. Fucking cringe. I, I can't sell anything good. I don't know what to make. But before I got like any big amount of followers, right? I used to do live streams on my ASMR small channel once in a while. When I was a very small creator, like three plus years ago we talking about. I had sometimes had someone in the live stream say, Yo man, you should definitely set, set up a PayPal so we could donate your money in, in order to help the channel. That was very kind what people said. But to be quite fair, I was never open for that because I was like, this is kind of fucked up, isn't it? Like, people willingly donating money to me so that they hope that I invest that money in my channel. Which, to be quite fair, I would have done. But I just couldn't accept the money. Like, it, it felt like kind of begging. Now, there is a difference with Patreon, I find. Um, Patreon is basically made there for exclusive behind the scenes. That, that is really for creators out there that really, really struggle with earning a buck on the videos that spent more money than they actually earn on the videos. For example, fuck, I don't know, music creators, stuff like that. That's a totally different thing. That's what people can free free donate, which means that you you don't tell to say them, oh, you know, fuck, I, I, I need money. Listen, that. you can f willingly donate there. You know, I think any amount, if I'm not mistaken, I've got Patreon, don't use it, right, I don't need it, I've got financially really good at the moment you know i've been financially very good stable for the past two and a half three years don't need the money and besides like me keeping it very honest a lot of youtubers claim and say you know by donating you will help support the channel that's a big fucking lie because nine out of the ten times these goddamn people 
put the money right in the pocket and do nothing with it. They don't invest in a fucking channel. That's something I've noticed quite a lot. I've been once in a while tuning into this channel. Not drop name, not name dropping anyone due to privacy reasons. Ain't trying to cause no beef. Not in the mood for that. Keep my name out of other people's business, you know. But this guy I've noticed, it's a guy, fuck, you know. You can guess if you want to, but no one will probably guess it, but... He live streams, I don't know, maybe every day, I don't know, once in a while I'll go check her. But it's a lot of toxicity, fun to watch, it's kind of embarrassing and sad, you, you, you feel kind of bad for the guy, like, fuck, I don't want to say he's a loser, but he's just like, what a prick, like, fuck, this is an asshole, you know, I don't like those kind of YouTubers, I think that they are the shit because they've got, you know, like 100,000 plus followers, fuck, my, my man, you're fucking tiny, you're not a big YouTuber if you go to 100k, man, that's, fuck, that's small, that's not me... Having a big ego, that's just speaking facts. You, you are not big at all. You've, you're just a small creator out there, just like a lot of us. Like, fuck, I'm not a big creator. I'm not top top 100 creators, but I don't have a small amount of followers. I, yeah, I have a half a million plus, but it's still not like big considered on the YouTube platform. Big is like when you've got a million subscribers. That's what we consider big to watch those kind of things he does and says. And it just destroys the whole purpose of him going live. Doing it for entertainment for him and his people. And it feels kind of forced. He goes live purely to get money from people. He does fuck all in his videos. I'm saying that each of his videos are kind of the same. It's like the same, you know, if you're not familiar with the rap of the baby. Whenever you listen to a song of the baby, it's kind of the same. Like, fuck, it's boring. You listen to the same Gotham song each time. There's no point in watching it then at the venture point. And because of the fact that his, you know, fuck. I don't know what his financial... State is I don't really care that as well. I just hope he gets better obviously But I can see that this guy's kind of desperate now It'd be really strange and kind of you know, I wouldn't say hypocritical But it'd be, be kind of odd for me to say if you're struggling financially Regardless if there's a pandemic because I still think you know fuck, fuck the pandemic you can still get a job It's just I think a lot of people out there don't want to get a job that pays like Minimalistic comes, you know, a lot of people have to start up at Gotham McDonald's. You don't hear them bitching and moaning. They appreciate that they even get paid. They're trying to build something up. They're trying to build up the future. And hear you bitching and whining because you don't want to get minimum wage. Hey, fuck, if, if I wouldn't be able to do YouTube and wouldn't have gotten the chances, I would be like, I'd fuck it. I'm going to do the same. I've got to work. Cause fuck, i got to pay my insurance for some reason when I turn 18. I've got to have money on my account to fucking pay it. Because here in the Netherlands, when you turn 18, you got to pay everything your fucking self. Pay everything. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking financially, and I can see it. But the way he sometimes reacts to his views is just quite, quite fucked up. It, it, regardless of his situation, there's no excuse to do that to your audience. Cussing them out, death threats to them, wishing that they die. That's quite fucked up, man. It's a creator that has 100,000 plus followers. To say those kind of nasty things, I don't get it. But like I said, I can't relate to his stuff because I'm not in that sort of environment like him. But fuck, I don't know his personal life. And I don't care that much. I just hope he gets better. But what I'm trying to say is you've got a lot of these YouTubers, right? They're big fucking liars. They don't actually tell you the truth. They often say this money that gets donated, you know, onto PayPal will get used for the channel. No, it actually doesn't. They do fuck with the money. They just keep it in their pocket and pretend like they use that money very good for the channel because... I, I could say the exact same thing. If you donate to my paper, fuck, I don't have a paper, but if, you, if I say, all right, if you donate, you support the channel. That's a big lie. Because every video is fucking basic. Yeah, okay, some videos are now edited. But it's quite basic. Nothing will change. Nothing will improve. Lightning will improve. Because I've already got all this stuff. So why do you feel like you've got to donate to your streamer when they are so fucking rich already? When the majority of YouTubers are quite wealthy and they live very good off YouTube branding deals, fucking you know, sponsorships. I do, I live very good on it, but I've never, and I swear to God, I've never begged for anyone to say, donate. I have made a video in the past when I had Patreon because I really wanted to set up and make my channel better because it was fucking amateuristic back then compared to now. Like, I don't, I don't want to say I wanted too many because I couldn't give a jack because my, my, I was fucking happy when I got a dollar donated or even... $50. There were some people that donated $100 and I actually used that money very wisely. I bought a new camera. I had bought a freaking laptop. It took me a, a long fucking time for my own YouTube payments, but I got a laptop, got the money that I had from Patreon that people had donated to me. So whoever did that in the past, God bless you. I really appreciate that. 
and I used that money to improve my videos, quality, fucking microphone, stuff like that. And unfortunately, a lot of YouTubers lie, and they just say that so they can earn an extra few bucks because they're lazy as fuck and don't care investing actual stuff in the videos. And that's thing. That's one thing you can't say about me. You can't say that I haven't used that money wisely or haven't used it as it should be supposed to be i've actually used the money that people did donate to me freely freely i didn't force no one didn't ask no one i've never asked anyone on my fucking channel or channels to go and do donate never that's just that's a thing you shouldn't actually even mention obviously you could say if you hey if you would like to support the channel out for better quality videos you can obviously donate um, it would help out a lot a lot, lot of the stuff that's cool but like I said, why would you have to donate just to get attention of a person that doesn't even notice you, your existence? You even got some people today at someone, yo, do you make custom videos? I had to say, no, for sure I don't, my guy. And, he's, and he asked me why. I don't get and see the point of receiving money from, for, from someone and make a video for them exclusively when I can just make it for free. Like, what the fuck's the point of that? Just so I can fill my, my pockets with money? That's 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 just messed up in my opinion. I I don't feel good with accepting money from people. I even had some time some guy once offered me two hundred dollars for a fucking feet pick. The guy was serious, <laughs> really serious. But I was like, nah, that's fucking cool, man. I didn't send him no feet pick. These 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 feet feet are these feet are beautiful, right? I've never felt comfortable with accepting money from people. Like fuck, in real life, it's a different thing. Birthday, that's different. But virtual, never felt comfortable. And I'd also, I, if I can remember correctly, I'd said in one of my live streams three years ago, two years ago when I, when it was my birthday, I don't want to set up anything that people can donate me through because I just don't need it. Like, fuck, I don't need it. Like, me keeping it very honest, I don't need you got the money. Keep the fucking money. I don't need it. Your money is your money. You shouldn't feel bad for a creator out there because he's fucking struggling. That's his problem. As fucked up as it may sound to some kind of people. His problem is his problem. Financially, fuck whatever he's going through. It's not your concern. You are only there to help his channel grow. Fuck, make make ads. And for your entertainment and for him to boost and stuff. As the viewer, you can do only small things. And like I said, what I can appreciate the most... And which is very very important which a lot of youtubers unfortunately don't get is the biggest support is people watching your videos that's fucking priceless if i've got to be honest that is very priceless you can't buy loyalty fucking impossible that's why i appreciate my fans for even clicking on a video even if the video is fucking bad and it still doesn't get clicks they 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 sh they, they they could have just not clicked on it but they was like i fuck it my, my boy uploaded i want to see another one of his videos because they, cause they support. And that's quite important, I find. Besides, you know, getting ads in the video, but... Yeah, I just don't fuck with the whole uh, donating thing. You should keep your money for yourself. You shouldn't feel bad. And really, the thing is with, like, high higher class YouTubers that make, like, a shitload of money, that I'm fucking multi-millionaires, right? Right? When they get $50 or $100 dono, that's fucking pocket chains. That's what they probably spend in a day on grocery. That's goddamn pocket chains. They will only notice you for five or ten seconds and say, yo, appreciate the donor. That's it. You've forgotten after them, them, them ten seconds. Is it worth it? Fuck no. It's not worth your goddamn money donating so you can get a ten second attention of someone that only appreciates your support because you've donated. I appreciate your support regardless if you donate or not, because I don't, fuck, I just don't like the whole donating thing, and I think it's really lazy going, do, going to do live streams every fucking day, just to basically get easy cash grab, I think it's lazy as a creator, and I think if you do that, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself, if, because that means that you do not care about your supporters, by making truly good quality content, and that means you just are here, fucking your fans over really, you know, like, that's just how I look at it, if you're not being 100% true, to what you stick and do, you're just doing it because of the money. Like, obviously, yes, this is my job, but I don't go ask people for money. That's not how it works. How do you think millionaires stay millionaires by not giving someone 10 euro every fucking time? That's the exact same thing. If you donate $10 to a, a streamer, you've just made him $10 richer. You, you just became $10 poor. 
the only person who's losing is he, him, unfortunately, because you've lost your ten dollars. He's gained the ten dollars for free. He, he didn't have to do fuck or forward. He just had to live stream and talk crap, play a stupid video game, and bam, he just got ten dollars. You just lost ten dollars. Sort of like a casino. You win or you lose, but there's only there's always one winner. So yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, money. You need it more than he does. Right? Same for me. I don't need and don't want your money. Like, if you want an ASMR video, like, fuck it. I'll make a goddamn voice memo, voice memo on Instagram. ASMR. I've done that so often. That's the people said, how much uh, f would you charge, you know, for uh, ASMR? I said, fuck, no, I don't charge no goddamn money for videos. I can just make you a video on my iPhone and then send it through Instagram. You can have it. I don't want the money. It's weird. I'm cool with that. I don't do it often because I don't have the time and I just can't be bothered often to do it, man. Because it's a lot of work, you know. But just keep your god the money, man. Like, please. Just just keep it. These YouTubers don't need your fucking money. And obviously there's nothing wrong with donating to really, really support a smaller channel. But you've just got to be careful with these bigger ones. Because they be fucking you over a lot more than you think. They acting all this and that. Or pity. Or sad to go get your attention for money. Be careful, because they are really scam artists, those kind of streamers. They go crying and acting sad, negative talks all the time. They are the true scammers. Really, they are scammers, basically. Look at it. Anyways, I'm going to end this uh, podcast video. See you all tomorrow with a brand new Mukman for you. Peace out.